Hey guys, what's cracking? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. If you are new here, so hi. Today I'm joined by Hi. My sister. Because today we are gonna be making a photo wall. McKenna makes these a lot for her friends and they're always like, how do you do it? It's actually a really simple process and we're gonna take you guys through the process today. And I know all you guys love room redo videos. However, my room is kind of filled to the brim and I can't really do anything more with it. So we're moving on to her room. So we're gonna show you how to do that today. So the first step of this process is to obviously find the photos that you wanna use. Um, we've found that using Google Photos really helps with this. What you're gonna want are 30 horizontal photos and 32 vertical for the size that we're making. Obviously, if you wanna make it bigger, you can add more photos, or if you want it smaller, you can add less photos. But we've found that this makes a perfect rectangle and that's the easiest way to do it. So basically what McKenna's doing is she is looking for photos through her Google Photos, Pinterest, whatever and separating them into two separate albums, one of them being horizontal and one of them being vertical. And this way you can make sure that you have enough photos for each side and it's probably just the easiest way to do it from what we've found. Now you're gonna to wanna to download the photos onto your computer or whatever you're using to upload them to walgreens.com. So you're just gonna go into the albums and you're gonna hit on the three little dots in the corner and then hit download all for both albums. So now you're gonna to wanna to upload your photos to whatever you're using to print these. Um, if you have a printer at home, you could do that. Just print them straight from your downloads or I know Sam's Club, CVS, I'm pretty sure do it too. So we're just using Walgreens because that's what's closest to us. And you're just gonna wanna follow the steps that they provide for you and place your order. Okay, we are now headed to Walgreens, Walgreens to pick up our pictures. We printed them and they were ready to go in less than an hour. So mm -hmm. let's go do it. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man. Let's play some music. You already know what I'm gonna play. We just got out of Walgreens and we got the goods. And yeah. Hashtag not sponsored. McKenna had to go print another photo because there was a duplicate of one that she didn't catch. But we are back and we now have all the photos, well not all of them, but all of the um, vertical photos put out and laid out. And we're gonna be using this to make sure that the tape gets a nice flat surface. This is the tape that we'll be using. It's just normal packing tape. We've found that this works the best because it's the thinnest tape. It's also the tape with like the largest roll because if you just use like normal scotch tape, you'll run out really quickly. Once you have all your photos ready to go, your next step is to put them in the order you want on your wall. And I'm gonna play some copyright music. the vertical section and I put all the photos where I wanted them so now all we're gonna do is start taping what we usually do is we start with two at a time so I'm gonna take the two top corner ones so now we're gonna take some tape you want to take a good piece of scotch tape about that big you probably can't see it and all you make sure it's just like in the middle and make sure your photos are aligned as much as possible. and not overlapping so now ta-da! you have your first two taped pictures and I'm just gonna put them back and then do the other two, and then tape those two together. And soon, the whole thing is gonna be taped. Okay, so as you can see, they are all flipped ready to go so we have four sections and we just keep making bigger sections so like we started with just the individual photos then we got one strip then we combine them to two and now we'll combine them into another two and then we'll combine the two halves into <laughs> one whole and basically going a little bit at a time is the way you're gonna get the best quality of this because if you try to do it all at once it's gonna look really sloppy and you're probably not gonna like it and then once we're done with this we're just gonna repeat the entire thing over again with the horizontal photos 
Again, just going a little bit at a time. That's like the number one thing to make sure that you do. The vertical ones are done. And now what we're gonna do is place out the horizontal ones and do the exact same thing we did for the vertical. Okay, so we finished the horizontal pictures and now we are to connect like bam <laughs> really we just finished the horizontal pictures and now we are to connect the vertical ones to the horizontal ones and then we're done we just finally have <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's Aunt Franny I, I was in the hit movie robot jeez this is a mess <laughs> Okay, great. All right, cool. This is the final photo wall, as you can see. And on the back, you can see how we taped it. So we just went section, literally by section, by section, by section. And yeah. That is straight up dust. What do we do about that? Get a duster? <laughs> Get a rag? My Jennifer Coolidge impression. I didn't know I could do a Jennifer Coolidge impression until last night. Maddie, stop. You're being weird. Uh, I hope you're enjoying my oat milk shirt, by the way. <laughs> this is a fan favorite. You're gonna need four push pins or nails or whatever you wanna use to put this in the wall. You need another nail? You're gonna need 87 nails and seven push pins to swallow for this to work. You guys want to get in it? Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you've ever made a photo wall or if you're gonna make one after this video. Make sure to tag me if you end up making one and posting about it. Yeah. And, cause we'd love to see that. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for watching. We love you all so much. Yes. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Like a dog.